Hi. This video is the first look and a brief overview of Autodesk's Construction Cloud's Unified Platform. Firstly, I'd like to describe how Autodesk's Construction Cloud has progressed to where it is now. Over the last few years, Autodesk has continued to invest in cloud products. We've also seen these products become more integrated to make it much easier to use them all together. But now we're seeing the first of a new unified platform where all of these great tools come together in a single sign-in. The highlighted areas on this image explains where the new unified tools fit in. You'll see that as before the document management section spans the whole design, construct and operate lifetime of a project. This is the new Autodesk Docs. So let's take a look at the all new Autodesk Construction Cloud's unified platform. So here we see Autodesk Docs, a nice fresh new layout. Now if we've been using BIM 360 Docs, all of our projects are all available to us in one single location. Once we've signed in, you'll get access to all of your projects created in BIM 360 and the new unified platform and even plan grid. They'll just get a different icon for each of the projects. We could also view all these projects in one page if we wish to. So looking at BIM 360 docs in the files section, we've got two areas. We've got project files. Here we can upload any, uh, any files we wish. We can also see these files with their version numbers and whether they've got markups available to them as well. If we wanted to see any other attributes, we could actually turn these on or off or actually create new attributes. So in the docs, we've also got the ability to create reviews, transmittals, issues, reports and our member section. Going back into the For the Field area, by opening up a PDF you'll see how quick the viewer is. Inside the viewer we have plenty of tools allowing us to mark up, measure and create issues. If we want to use the measurement tools, the first time we just need to calibrate the measurements by picking two points and then specifying what those two points are and then we can use the measurement tool from there on. For the issues, we've got a really good little icon system here. So we choose which type of issue we wish. We put it down into the, into the file and we get that little icon or the, the, the letter, in this case, D for design issue. And here we actually specify our description. who we wish to assign this issue to. It could be a person that's on the, on the project or in fact a role. So in this case, it's a design issue. So I'm going to assign this to an architect. We also specify design, a, a, a due date and we can also put location and root cause in here as well. At the moment this issue is unpublished, so we just select the item here to actually publish this. Now everybody can see that issue. And there you see we've got a number of issues, again easy to see what type of issues, the CL meaning clash. If we now select the issue section you'll see we now have three issues and we can see which plate, where these are placed to which, which file they're actually in. Now if we go up to the menu system here on the top left, you'll see here we can get to our design collaboration section, model coordination, build, cost, insight, and also the administration areas as well. So let's take a look at Autodesk Build. Now from the home page we get a lot of information about the project. One of the new areas is the project progress. 
Here we can actually set milestones for the particular project within the between the start and the completion dates. When in Autodesk Build, we can always get to the files that were uploaded in Autodesk Docs. They're in the Files section here, exactly the same layout as Autodesk Docs. But in addition to this, Autodesk Build has sheet, a Sheets area. Now this is where we can actually upload draw, uh, PDFs that we can use on site. The nice thing is, is when you load a PDF file in, it will actually automatically look for drawing numbers and descriptions and so on. So no need for using a template. For we can also start to put these in version sets. So in this case, these are all under architecture. But we can also add tags. So here we have a civil tag as well. Now if we open up one of these files, we'll get exactly the same viewer as we did with the files. So the same options to be able to mark up, create issues, measure and so on. We'll also be able to see any issues that we've created or any others are created, whether they be design issues or construction issues, etc. Another new area is the photos and video section. Here, when we take a, a, a photo, we can upload it to a project and it remembers the GPS location of the, of the photo. And we can see this on a map or we can see it in a gallery. When we open up the image, we've got a number of things we can see latitude and longitude, who took it, when it was taken and when it was uploaded. We also get the ability to tag these as well. So we can actually do searches on tags. In this case, if we wanted to see all the information about solar, we can do so. We can share this information or download the photo as well. Sorted as build gives us a whole lot more, including meetings, assets, reports, and so on and so forth. So that was a very first look at Autodesk's Construction Cloud's Unified Platform.